it's a he has made a better play. He was right in the lane, on the running lane. So it was hard for me to see Tex, so it was just a tough play. I mean, I know you don't want to hit somebody in the back, but is that kind of the only recourse there? Um, I guess. I mean, uh, you know, from talking to Tex, that's what he kind of said. Uh, you know, next time I'll, I'll try to make a better throw, but it, it, was a, it was a tough angle for sure. Do you think the umpire is messed up there because they could have called him out on that because he basically interfered with your throw? I mean, he was he was running on the grass. You could clearly see uh, the the replay. He was running on the grass, but you know, it's their judgment. I mean, they felt they felt they made the right call, and I guess it's the right call. Joe seemed to think that the only option is, like you said, to, to hit the runner. Do you think that rule needs to be uh, adjusted so it could either be reviewed or it could be changed without having that be the recourse? I mean, next time I'll just I'll try to hit him. And I mean. If I have to hit him in the back, I guess I'll hit him in the back. But uh, he was, I mean, it was just tough. I couldn't see Tex, so it was, a, it was a tough throw for sure. Did Cole have anything to do with maybe not getting the best of grip on, on the pitches and maybe not throw? Oh, no, I mean, I, I felt good. My, I mean, my pitches were all right. I mean, uh, you know, obviously you don't want to walk the leadoff hitter. I think that's where, where everything started. But, uh, you know, my hand felt good, so. Is it tough to face Altuve just because it's such a compact strike zone? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, he's a good hitter. Obviously, you don't want to give in, but I got to make better pitches. You know, uh, I was a, you know, you got to be aggressive in the strike zone, and you can't walk the leadoff guy. You know, that usually hurts you 90% of the time. So, you know, I got to be better at that. Do you think you're out of that inning anyway with that Belbuena at, at bat? It didn't seem like you got the call there on the 2-2 pitch. I mean, I thought that was a really good pitch, but uh, I don't know what happened there, to be honest with you. But, you know, next pitch you got to hit, so you got to, Continue to work no matter the situation. Um, you know, tomorrow's a, a new day. Hopefully, I get the chance to go out there again. What was Joe saying to the umpire when he was protesting out there? Uh, I think just the runner was, uh, you know, running on the grass. You know, he felt like, you know, he should have been out. I mean, you know, the umpire thought otherwise, though. Have you ever seen him that animated? Uh, I mean, you know, Joe gets fired up, obviously, when. Um, you know, he feels like the, the call was wrong. I mean, I've seen him get, you know, pretty animated before. 30 pitches, you think he'll use you again tomorrow? Uh, I'll be ready. It's a day game, night game, so I'll be ready for tomorrow. Dylan, I'm sorry if you answered this already, but did you consider hitting him with the ball? You know, it was tough. You know, everything happens quick. Uh, when I get the ball, all I see is Correa's back. You know, I try to kind of throw it, but, uh, you know, threw it too high, obviously. Did you have any time to step to the side and, and get an angle on him? No, I don't think so. You know, he's moving pretty quick. I, I couldn't see text, but I think that was the problem. You know, you know, if I have a good angle to to throw, I'll make a good throw. So did you know that if you hit him in the back, he'd be out? No, I didn't know that. I mean, um, that's probably the first time that's happened to me. But next time, that's what I'll do. So next time you'll try to throw a straight line at him? Yeah, if that's what's going to be, you know, if that's what's going to have to happen, I'll make them call him out, then that's what I have to do.